Hi, this is Michael O'Leary again from Buy the Book Taxes with the most recent video blog. This week, we're going to talk about a piece of legislation that was signed in late 2015 called the FAST Act, which has some significant tax implications. The FAST Act was signed by President Obama, as I said, in late 2015. And the acronym FAST stands for Fixing America's Surface Transportation. Uh, it was a transportation infrastructure bill meant to uh, put some money into our highways, public transportation, and rail. Tucked into this bill were some IRS provisions to help the IRS collect taxes in large amounts that were considered to be seriously delinquent. That's the actual term used in the legislation and by the IRS. So with the FAST Act, it gives the IRS the ability to notify the State Department that there are U.S. passport holders whose tax debts exceed 50000 That is the break point for what is considered seriously delinquent tax debt. If you owe more than $50,000, you are seriously delinquent. Now, there are some exceptions to this. <clears throat> if you owe more than 50,000, but you already have a uh, tax resolution option worked out with the IRS, or you're in the process of getting one, then this won't apply to you. An example is, are you already on, or have you applied for an installment payment agreement? Have you already submitted an offer and compromise? Have you requested a collection due process hearing? Or have you filed for innocent spouse relief? So if, if you have either submitted these or on them or in the process of getting them, uh, this doesn't apply to you. So here's what happens. If you are seriously delinquent, you owe more than 50000 to the IRS, and you are not working with them, they consider you seriously delinquent. The IRS notifies the State Department, and the State Department reserves the right to revoke your passport so that you cannot travel internationally. To my knowledge, the State Department has not yet revoked any passports because they are concerned about due process issues for taxpayers. However, if you are looking to, a, to apply for a passport or renew an existing but expiring passport, while being considered seriously delinquent, your application will be denied. You will not be able to get, to get one, and you will not be able to renew an existing one until the taxes are paid or you are on some sort of tax resolution program with the IRS. So if you have years of unfiled tax returns, if you are seriously delinquent on your taxes and you are looking for a tax resolution option, please call me. I can help.